walk into the Nor Yangjin fish market and your senses are instantly on overload. The market is massive with more than 700 shops selling sea creatures. You can pick out an octopus, they are lined up for shopping ease, or have a shopkeeper show you some that are still alive and squirming. Rows of bins of fresh crabs, shrimp and clams seem to be never ending and of course you'll find some fish. This is the epitome of fresh seafood. Pick your fish and within minutes you can be having sashimi as your catch is expertly filleted in front of you. The South Korean Peninsula is surrounded by the Yellow Sea, the East China Sea and the Sea of Japan and 15 seaports deliver fresh seafood to Seoul daily. You can buy your fresh seafood on the first floor and eat it on the second floor where there's a half dozen local restaurants serving dishes like sea cucumber and shredded jellyfish. From ocean to table, this is as fresh as it gets. And if you're like me and you are not a seafood fan, you won't regret a trip to the market. It's the colors and the energy. The market is alive. This seafood is so fresh, you'll be surprised there's not even a seafood scent to turn your nose up at. As a shopper or a tourist, Noryangjin delivers. Okay, so this is fried squid. You can see the cool tentacles in there. I really don't want to eat it, but I kind of have to. See that right there? It's fried over, but that's the little tentacle in there. And um, it's not exactly appetizing, but I'm going to eat it. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> I'm not happy about anything that bites me when I'm trying to eat it. The DMZ is the most heavily fortified border in the world. We saw firsthand how North and South Korean soldiers face off in the JSA or Joint Security Area. In a highly unusual move, more than a dozen North Korean soldiers marched into view and one by one posed for pictures at the border. Their backdrop was our tour group and our guide had never seen anything like it. The situation was quickly radioed in by South Korean soldiers. Tensions are high here. Just 10 days ago, the two sides exchanged fire, and these two countries are technically still at war. The focal point of the JSA is a small, somewhat shabby building with a big history. A ceasefire was negotiated here after the Korean War. In fact, the building is still used for negotiations. One half sits in South Korea, the other in North Korea. Guarded by South Korean soldiers who remain in a fighting Taekwondo stance, this is where I and others were able to walk into North Korean territory, if only for a few minutes. But that is where travel to North Korea typically ends. The shiny and relatively new Dorasan train station was built to connect the North and the South. Signs show this is the way to Pyongyang, North Korea's capital city. But inside, security stations are unmanned and rows of seats remain empty. The rail lines connecting South and North Korea are built and ready to go. You can even buy a ticket, but until relations improve, the ticket is just a souvenir because the trains aren't running. For now, the station is a symbol and a hope of what could be improved relations with the North, something that will likely happen first with talks in a small building in the JSA.